Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video on the Casual Racing Game Mode. Today, I am going to show you how I won at this crazy race at Fuji for the Daily Race B in the open wheel. And I am, the way I win this race, and I am going to tell you my strategy. And this strategy for this particular race goes against everything I usually say in all my other videos. I always say, don't try to win the race on the first lap. Well, this race is the complete opposite. This race has to be won, not, not, not on the first lap. You need to win this race on the first turn. And I'm going to go over that. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you why I say that. And it's not even about being the fastest at the first turn. It is surviving the first turn. And then the biggest thing is the exit out of the first turn. That is where you will either lose or you are going to win. Because on the first turn, everyone will be going crazy here. They will be going crazy. Um, people are using overtake when 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 you're going like a half halfway down the, the the first um stretch, and then no one knows really where the good break mark is on on the standstill start, um, because people are used to their break marker when they're running full steam ahead and they know exactly what to look for. So it's always like a guessing game. So if you're towards the front, you are going to get rammed from behind. Expect it. No matter what happens, no one's trying to ram you on purpose. Um, I just think it's there's, it's very hard to judge. Um, even for me, I, you know what I mean? I, I've, I've overran the turn on, on, on the start as well. And then the more I've done it and the more that I've seen happening, um, I realize you need to really break really, really early. And it doesn't matter how many people put in the chat to everybody break early. No, no one knows how early to break. So, so it becomes, it becomes a pile up. Um, you're going to get hit from behind. The best thing is, 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 is try to avoid getting thrown off the track and, and, and try to break early. So if you do get rammed, you're still going to be on the track and then be in a good gear that you can launch out. The winner of this race is going to have the, the, the best chance is going to be the person who can get out of turn one um, the quickest and safest and get away from the, the mess. So I was lucky here. And I, and this race, I was starting in P2. Um, I, I knew I was going to get ran from behind. I was looking to break early. I was expecting to get hit. But in my head, it was like, I need to get out of turn one as quickly as possible. And don't, don't, um, the biggest thing is don't, don't get nervous. Don't just start slamming on your gas and just trying to, because you, you're just going to mess yourself up. The thing is to stay calm, take the push. You're going to get pushed from behind wherever you are. And then just, just make sure you don't spin out your tires and lose your car getting back on the road. So we're going to, we're going to look at this, right? We're going to look at this. We're going to look at turn one. And then, and then I, I, and I, I, I basically, I basically lead this whole race and, I, and I'll tell you my whole thinking during this whole race, what's going on. And then we're also going to, we're going to check out other cars in the back. Cause the one thing we never do when we race is we don't, we don't see what, what, what everyone else is doing behind us, especially if you're towards the front. Um, so I think it's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll react to, to other drivers in the race. Cause I think, I think there's probably a lot of crazy stuff going on that I just haven't seen. So we'll, we'll, we're going to check it out. So let's, let's click off right from the start and, and then, and then we'll just, I'll talk you through um, my thinking and, 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 you know, my, my strategy not being the fastest, right? I always say I'm not the fastest driver and you don't have to be the fastest driver to win races. You just need to be the smartest driver. You need to have a strategy and, and you need, you need to know, you know, if you're not the fastest, how can you win a race? Here we go. So, so this is the start again, coming down the stretch. I, I know, and I am expecting, oh, and I, I am racing in PSVR too. Um, that, that's how I race GT7 all the time. I, I am in love with it. So here it is. Um, I'm already thinking I had to break pretty early. So I start breaking there. I'm coming to the inside. I'm going to get a bump there. I'm just trying to keep my car straight. I was able to keep it on the track because I broke really early and came to the inside. So I still had room to get bumped there. I'm in first place now. So I, I am happy. All, all, everyone's going to be battling behind me at this point. Um, so in my head right now, and I always preach this, run consistent laps. Don't overdrive. Don't be eager. So, so you know, I'm looking. I was looking to win this race at turn one, but now I'm not looking. Um, I'm looking to run consistently. I'm not thinking like I need to be the fastest right now. I'm in the front. I need to be the most consistent. Also, one thing to understand, guys, if you are if you are running, um, if you're running, let's say, you want to always look at everyone else's um, qualifying times. See what their best time is. So if their best time is like a 123, a lot of guys are 124. 
So you know they're not going to run that in the actual race. They're going to they're going to be running at least probably like a second or two slower. At least a second or two slower. So if you have a five or six second lead, you think, and you see cars are far behind you, there's no need to push. Even if that car is is a second faster on you per lap, and let's say you have four laps left, um, even if they run a second faster and you're like five or six seconds ahead, they're still not going to catch you. So these are things you have to really consciously think about is how far you think you are ahead of them and then how good you think they're running their laps and then take a look at the lap times that you're running and, and it will definitely help you how much you need to push. But I always say don't over push. Don't lose your car. Don't lose the race. Don't, don't, make, don't lose the race by yourself. Don't beat yourself. Let someone else have to beat you. If you go off the track, you're basically giving it to somebody else. Um, if they're going to come and get you, let them come and get you. Let them overtake you. You want to be on the track for that. So, that, so that's something that I always preach. And that is something that, that, that is gonna, it's going to help you get wins. It's going to help you get wins even if you're not the fastest. If you are five, six, seven seconds ahead of the car behind you and there's three or four laps left, um, just if they're, if they're a second or two faster than you, you can still take a win, which means you do not need to speed. You do not need to overdrive. So that, that is my concept here. So let's, let's start looking at, let's start looking at some other cars. Um, let's start looking at some, some other cars here and what's going on. So here's P2. This is Speed Demon. Speed Demon. I am still in Speed Demon's sight. So I, I, in this race, um, I, I do have you know, I, I am looking in my mirror. A lot of people, some people say, don't look in your mirror. Let them catch you. You only need to look forward. Um, I'm looking in my mirror because I want to see how far that car is behind me. Um, if I see him way back there, I know I can ease up. If I see him catching me, um, do I need to push a little more? And I know where I can push and I know where I should actually, you know, take it easy and slow up a little bit. But, you know, I got I got a nice room here, so I'm feeling good. Let's, let's look back here going at... Um, Number three here is Halo Gamer Gamer 121. So these guys are battling here. This is helping me, right? Now, I don't know this is going on, but this is obviously helping me with the two of them battling. I'm slowing them down. You know, that gives me the opportunity to pull ahead. See what else is going on here. So then we got in fourth place, we got the Flash. Flash looks like he's chilling by himself, all comfortable. Um, back in number five, we got Base Master 808. Um, he just picked himself up a penalty going through the chicane. So they got room here. No, no one's really tight looking here. Oh, he's got a nice penalty there himself. Going back to number seven, TGT, Carlos Campus, Campos. Um, so, so these guys are all spread out here right now. Number eight is I'm not good. Um, that's okay. Um, but you can get good. If you're not good, you can get good, dude. So, so don't, don't worry about that. Um, so seven and eight battling here. So, so he has seven in his sight. Can he catch seven? Um, I don't know, but let's see what's going on here with, um, with Bonanza running in ninth. So you got seven, eight, nine running pretty, pretty, pretty close here. Those guys are battling. Th those are just shots right there. You can see them running into each other. Unnecessary, unnecessary roughness. Do not run into someone when you're running on a straight, stay in your line. If you know, there's a car there, you know, th th that's, that's not a racing incident. That's intentionally trying to wreck someone. We don't like seeing that. We don't like seeing intentional wrecks. So there they are going into turn one. Everyone's still running. They're, run, they're running pretty good there, right? They're running one, two, one, two, three in a line. Number 10, not far behind. Number 11, number 12. These guys, no, no one running really close, close here. Sam looks like he's struggling a little, a little bit here. Um, let's see what Sam's doing. Let's see how Sam handles his turn. All right, Sam, Sam's not looking that bad. Sam's all right, Sam's all right. Number 15, we got Scotty. Scotty, Scotty Walnuts? Scotty Walnuts. All right, Scotty. Um, you're back there in 15, but we don't know. You got you probably could have got wrecked out um, pretty early and stuff. But let's see what's going on up, up at the top, right? Let's go back to... Um, let's see what... So my lap times right now are 120, 126, 125, 126. Um, Halo Gamer is running a 131, 126, 125. So we're running similar lap times. Um... We're on lap five of six. He's still far behind me. So, so even if he runs a second quicker in these in these last two laps, he can't catch me. I just need to be consistent with where I am. I just need to stay where I am, and I need to not not lose myself, not lose um, not lose not not lose my place, not defeat myself. 
I can see him in my mirror on a lot of these turns. So I know he's back there. Um, but, but I feel like I still have a good distance and I feel like I'm still running consistently and I'm not seeing a car really, really, you know, catching me where I need to get nervous yet. Um, so at five or six, these guys are still battling Speed Demon. Um, Halo Gamer with the little, losing the car a little bit there, but um, Speed Demon cannot, cannot catch him. Let's see how they take the chicane here. Let's see how they handle the chicane. Halo Gamer coming in. Oh! He's gonna take him on the outside. Let's see if they go clean. No, Halo Gamer kept kept it there. Oh, he lost it. He lost it. He took himself out. You see, that's what I mean. Don't take yourself out, guys. Don't take yourself out. That was that was not good. Halo Gamer fell to third, fourth. Where are you? The Flash. Flash has Halo Gamer. Oh, Flash has Halo Gamer in his sight. Oh, we got a penalty at at ba Bass Master. I'm not good in six, also picking up a penalty. Number seven is TGT. Number eight, these guys, these guys are kind of close here. These guys are all pretty, pretty close distance. We got a battle going on for, for 10th and 11th place here. Oh, what happened there? Why, why did he give up that spot? What happened? I don't know what happened there. What do we got here? We got 12th, 13th penalty on him. We got the overtake there because of the penalty. There's a lot of passing going on back here. Man, these guys, so... These guys are all, you know, let's see where we are in this race. Those guys are pretty far back. Um, we're going to come into the chicane here. My lap times, all, all close, all consistent. 126, 125, 126, 124, 125. And again, I'm not trying to run qualifying lap times here. My qualifying lap time is like a 123 point three or something like that or 0 0.5 0 0.3 um i'm not trying to run that 123 because i'm pushing it at that 123 i have a good chance of losing the car but when i'm running a qualifying i don't really care if i lose the car um and here i care if i lose the car especially if you're out in front so we had a, we had a big lead here big lead um so so this was a real comfortable comfortable lead win let's see what else is going on back here all these guys are pretty all these guys are pretty pretty spread out. All spread out. All spread out. Yeah, all spread out. So we took um, we took the win, and then uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I want to just look at. I wanted to show you guys turn one um, from the back. I want I want you to see the mess that goes on on turn one, and that's why I say you have to win this race at turn one, and not not because you need to overtake everyone. You shouldn't be thinking overtake everyone at turn one. You just need to be thinking, how do I survive, take a hit, still stay on the track, and exit out without losing my car, and exit out before everyone else exit out, exits out. That, that's what you need to do. Um, so let's go back to the beginning here, and I just want to take a look at look at turn one. And then I want to look at the first chicane coming in when, when all the cars are there. And those are two big areas in the first lap where you really have to be careful. So we, we'll look at it from... Um, let's look at it from from like seventh so let's look at it from let's move back here from he is from uh from 12th 13th we're looking at it from 13th spot ready all these cars coming in here rushing there's going to be bumping there's going to be hitting actually everyone survived there pretty well this was actually better than most races um that i've seen most cars get punted off off the actual track so people are still running pretty tight here. that's a lot of cars running tight here um lots of craziness going on here um, very close. Now, now the biggest thing over over this next thing is going to be for these guys, for these guys to um, to get through the chicane. You don't want to be up with uh, so many cars coming into that chicane, and there's a lot of cars right there. So let's 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 pull back here a little bit, see what happens um, in this chicane on lap one. Of course, if you're out in front, you this is what you want. This is helping you out. This is a lot of cars. Guys, um, yeah. So so guys, actually, this is pretty clean. This is actually cleaner than most of the races that I've seen. Um, not not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there's a lot of clean racing going on here. I'm actually impressed. I'm impressed. Um, I'm impressed, guys. I'm impressed with a lot of the drivers in this race. Um, look, looking, looking pretty good. Looking pretty clean. Uh, getting through that first turn actually was not bad from what I've seen in all the past races I've done. And, and getting through that chicane for all these drivers. Um, thumbs up to everybody. Clean racing, baby. Clean racing. I love to see clean racing. Good job, guys. Good job. Anyway, um, that was just, you know, my strategies. That was how I actually won this crazy race. 
after losing a lot of them, um, I did try. I was actually racing for about two hours, um, and and my, and my 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 safety rating went from like an S. Um, back to an A. I got it back to an S, and then I'm back at an, an A again. Um, I got to be pretty close to an S because I ran a pretty clean race here. So I'm thinking I have to be pretty close back to that S. And I'm like, I almost got to a B. I'm like that far away. I thought the win was gonna give me um a a B, um driver rating, but I'm like a pinch away from B. I'm like at the highest level of a C. So maybe I'll be a B um if I do good in my next race. But if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely um, thumb it up, subscribe. Of course, always appreciate your tips down below. Um, any tips you have for winning races, especially a race like this or any other race, um, it helps out the whole community and we all love that stuff. So guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Um, thanks for watching. We out of here. Peace.